Hey guys, how are you going on? This is Dartman, Aussie YouTube community. Hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Here I'm playing Black Ops 2. You can see there's gun game on the map, Carrier. I'm not talking about this gameplay, just tell you what I'm doing. But I want to talk about the topic of um, Green Goblin versus Drama Alert or DJ Keemstar, you know, versus DJ Keemstar versus um, Green Goblin. Both sides of the story tell you both as much as information as I know, not being, not joining either side and being like, you know, the middleman in the situation. What, who started it first? Well, basically, DJ Keemstar got some information saying that Green Goblin was botting his um, subscribers, not his views, and spamming channels, saying, hey, you know, good channel, come look at my channel. Green Goblin returned and said, hey, I did spam people's channels with saying, hey, look at my channel, you have a good channel, stuff like that, but he refused and said, I did not bot my subscribers, I have no idea if you have hard evidence, bring it forward and we'll have a debate about it. And then DJ Kimstar comes back and with all this information from websites where people can use a program, remember the exact name of the program, but you can use it, pay $100, and these people will go out and help get subscribers for you and views and stuff like that. Illegal, but um, it's frowned down upon, but still people use it in the YouTube. And he's come with all this information, but the thing is, he's got screenshots of this information, and HTML is basically very easy to edit. I'm not sure if um, if you understand, but all you do, like I could go to Twitter when DJ Keeves, I put a tweet up saying something about Green Goblin. I could go and change that tweet and saying, hey, my name's JJ Keemstar, go check out Aussie Stuntman, uh, Aussie YouTube community, here's a link to his channel, and then show you a video of that, and you'd think, what, hey, did he tweet that out? No, because I edited the HTML to make it look like what I wanted. Not saying that this, um, hey, sorry, Green, Go Green Goblin didn't use this program. It's just saying HTML is basically it's easy to edit. Anybody could do it. The little kids in high school can edit and make people say anything they want. And so that, that's basically the only evidence I've seen DJ Keemstar put forward that he's done this. I know you can look at the analytics on Green Goblin's uh, YouTube by using look at Social Blade, but then he could have got a whole lot of subscribers at once. There's no actual hard pointing evidence. It say it does look shady. But, let's say, if you took this forward to the police, they'd just be like, you know, you, we don't have enough evidence to uh, put it forward and say, hey, he actually did this. And I know another thing, drum alert, with DJ Kimsar being a drum alert nation, he has a lot of people that know to hack and do stuff on his group. I know he's not one responsible for it, you know, he's not the one that did it himself, but I saw Kenny was responsible. Someone had gone out and gone and got Green Goblin's IP address and basically got all of his private information about himself, his mum and his dad and his family and just basically tweeted out to DJ Keemstar and then he retweeted it with Drama Nation so basically all of um, Drama Nation followers could get Green Goblin's private information, phone numbers, addresses, email addresses and everything. They just gave it out there like they don't care. I know DJ Keemstar didn't do it exactly himself but he is responsible. He can't say, well, I didn't do it, not responsible. You're the one that brought this subject up to hand, you know, into the side of, well, you know, inside of all the viewers and people want to talk about it. So basically, it's your fault that his private information is basically now for everybody to see. So I'm not sure what you guys, you think, if someone bots subscribers, do you have to go all out? He's saying he's not going to stop until he says yes, but what happens if he didn't do it? He's going to be lucky. He said, even if he did do it, why, like people saying, why is he so wrapped up in it? Just get over it. He's saying he didn't do it. Why you just let it go? You know, why is he just saying, you know, this is going to happen? You know, we're going to wreck you. We're going to wreck your channel. He said that to many of people many times, and people are like, DJ Keemstar's followers are like, oh, you know, his channel's toast. But no, he's not. His channel's still there. It's still growing. Song, um, ballistic knife to the groinal shot. Ballistic knife to the diac. Anyway, guys, what do you think? DJ Keemstar should just give it up, or did Green Goblin HD bot his subscribers? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. If you missed the previous video, you can click the little link here, or if you haven't subscribed, please do so by clicking the button below.